Good day folks, this is John Scarborough. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I'm trying to come back and get back into it. Got this uh, little unroller here. I wanted to do a little talking about it. This is not an unroller yet. This is what we're gonna turn into an unroller. This is something that I picked up at a scrap yard. It was built just like it is. Uh, somebody made it, homemade little design, terrible design. I'll just come right out and say it. Um, it's heavy. Very heavy. It's not balanced well. Um, it's, I don't know how in the world you'd get this spear. I mean, they got a two and seven eighths piece of pipe right here for a spear. There's no way you're going to spear that into a, a bale using an ATV, which is what it's for. You're not going to do it. You're going to spin out every time, no matter what you're doing. Um, the best way you can do it is back up underneath the bale. And then how do you get it back off? when you're out in the pasture. You know, it's just like, it's a terrible, terrible design and that's why it was at the scrapyard. Um, so, long story short, I was able to pick this thing up for a very, very reasonable price. It's already got good tires. This one's a little low, I'm gonna have to put a little air in it. Might need a, um, might need a little something to help with the little bit of leak in there. Um, but it's got all the guts that I need. I mean, I've got a hitch. It's a little bit of a worn hitch, but it's not too bad. So I've got a hitch and I've got everything I need there. Um, so we're going to do some more, we're going to do some work on this thing. Um, if y'all got any ideas on anything I could do while I'm working on this to get it, uh, kind of where I want it to be, I'm, I'm going for a good bale unroller, a good design for a bale unroller. Um, Greg Judy's got an excellent one out there. Uh, if y'all are looking for one, he, he sells them. Um, that's Greg Judy. You can go to his, uh, his website and buy them, but I'm building one because, I mean, I, I got this for a good price and I got a good welding shop here. So uh, I'm going to use this material and, and get me one for um, hopefully save a little bit of money on it. I think I can do a little bit of modifying and just pretty much keep uh, take. I'll, I'll end up taking most of this away, uh, but I'll add a couple little scraps here and there and make it what I want and pretty much just keep exactly what I got. Um, so one of the things I think we're going to do, because it's so heavy in the tongue, um, this is just ridiculously long, how long that tongue is. Um, I think we're going to chop this tongue down to somewhere right in here, maybe right there at the longest point, and then we'll chop these way back and put them in there. You just don't need near that much bracing. That that right there is adding, I mean, that's 2 and 7 eighths slid inside of 2 and 3 eighths. Okay, and they did that because it's so long, so they needed more strength. That right there is super heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. And I mean, I appreciate people building stuff heavy duty, but a lot of times I'll see people do this with mobile stuff. They try to do mobile designs uh, like chicken tractors and bale rollers and all of this stuff. And they'll do it with the same background that they came from where they're doing everything with a tractor. Okay. You can do anything you want with a tractor when you got a tractor to pick it up. But when you're out there trying to work with your hands and an ATV, Okay, or you're dry, or you're pulling a uh, chicken tractor through a pasture or something like that. You want light. You basically want it to be. And I mean, like I said, I appreciate the fact that this is stout and it's built strong and it's built to last. There's no point in it being built to last if it's going to end up in a scrapyard. This guy lost money on this, you know. And you can tell he did good work. That's what I hate about it is he did really good work. The welds look solid. Everything's good. Very good work. He did good, solid pins and everything. Um, but he lost money on it. He gave it to the scrapyard for basically nothing. And then I ended up getting it for basically nothing, you know. And so I kind of hate that because a lot of times people do that. They'll build a chicken tractor or one of these or something, and they'll either take it to the scrapyard or throw it away. Or a lot of times you'll go to – I can't tell you how many times I've gone to somebody's place, a little homestead or something, and they've built this um, like a chicken tractor – and you'll look in the background and you'll see that chicken tractor sitting in the background. They'll, you'll ask them about, oh, yeah, it's been sitting there for a long time. And you'll kind of get down to the bottom of it. And eventually, you know, because first they'll be like, oh, yeah, we just don't use it. Well, we'll use it again or something. And eventually you get down to it and you go over there and try to move it. And the sucker weighs 400 pounds. And, I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's heavy, okay? Our, when we build chicken tractors, when we build anything mobile, we're basically going as, as borderline cheap as we can and we're not doing it so that we can be cheap on our material we're doing it so that we can be light it needs to be light and easy to move around you need to be able to, a, a, a kid needs to be able to get out there and move it you know anybody an older elderly person you know uh, 
I'm a lot stronger than my wife. I hope I am anyway. And I try to build stuff where me, my wife, any of my nephews, um, anybody can go out there and pick it up, move it around without any problem. And so that's something that you need to think about. If you're trying to build stuff mobile, you know, you, you, you're going from a farm where you're, or, you know, you, you were raised on a farm, you got tractors and stuff like that. It doesn't matter how heavy stuff is. And you're trying to go to stuff where it's mobile. You can do everything with an ATV and with your own body. You've got to think about that. Being light is more important than anything else, just about. I mean, it's got to be strong enough to hold together. So I'm not saying to sacrifice strength in that, but I am saying that maybe it doesn't have to last for 200 years, okay? This thing right here probably lasts for 500 years. <laughs> so anyway, guys, just, just remember that. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a quick, just kind of look over this. But like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to modify it a little bit. I think I can cut these braces down. I'm pretty sure I am going to go ahead and use all the material that's here as long as I can cut it down. It's never going to be the best design because this right here is right off um, it's right off the back. So it's a little bit too close to the wheels. But I think I can cut this down right here. I can probably chop that down lower. Um, and I can chop these spears off of here. And I think I can use this mechanism right here and then put my... my uh, my spears for my bail unroller portion of it put it somewhere back over here and i think it'll work okay um we'll still try to pivot off the same stuff we're going to try to use we'll have to get a different winch i don't like this cable design i may use it but i don't really love it it uh it works okay uh, and i might use it you know but i'm probably going to chop some of that off um so y'all tell me what you think uh they did put three different adjustments on there i don't Probably only ever need one. I'll figure out where I want to put it. I may even cut off that excess weight. I'm not sure. Um, but y'all tell me what you think. You know, would you leave, would you cut all this off and put my put my um, my spear parts right in here where, where they'll come straight out? Would, you know, how would you do this if this was you? I'm gonna I'm gonna get this video posted. I'm gonna go together. I'm gonna start thinking. And but I want to see y'all's input. I want to know what y'all think. What would you do on this? What what is something you might do? What would you change up? Because um, you never know. I may use a man up using a lot of that. I kind of got my own little ideas on it, um, but I'm not a hundred percent decided on anything just yet. Um, so make my life easier. Give me some ideas. Like and subscribe.